In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can take any clips you may have on gaming and how to edit them and get them ready for your socials like TikTok and your shorts on YouTube. Today, we're going to be using a software that is free and it's called DaVinci 17. You select for a new project and then we're going to go up to file, project settings. We're going to come up here under the master settings and we're going to reverse these numbers 1080 by 1920. Now this comes standard at 24 frames per second. I always change mine to 60. You don't have to do that. You can put them at 30 or leave them at 24, whatever your choice is. And then go ahead and hit save. Make sure you're either under this tab at the bottom or you're under edit. When you're here, you wanna go ahead and add your clips or media that you plan on using. I go over everything I plan or think I'm going to use. These are the ones I'm gonna use. So we'll go ahead and drag this in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to need the video twice. So I'm going to grab that same video, but I want these to be layered. And then I want to make sure that I unlink. So this button here, what that does is it takes the audio and video to be separated. If I delete it, it doesn't delete the audio at the same time. I don't need two audios, it's the same clip. So I'm gonna left click it, then right click it and hit delete select. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this bottom one. This is gonna be my main one. And then the top one is gonna be my camera. Right click, see where it says enable. I'm gonna disable that video. So that video won't be showing. And I'm going to go ahead and left click the video that I want to work with. I'm just going to zoom this in until it gets to the edges of your video. Now, when I hit play, it captures everything. That's important. You can see that. And I'll, now, when I look at it, Victory Rail is a little bit too much to the right. So I'll go ahead and adjust that back. All right. So now I pretty much got my first video done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and under again where it says enable with the check mark i'm going to select it so it's actually disabled i'm going to go back to my top video right click and i'm going to select enable clip the second clip what i'm going to do is the camera section so the best way for me to do this is i wanted to make it look good because it wouldn't look good if i just zoomed in on my face i'm going to go ahead and come down to this little wand here this is called fusion you're going to click it this is the second video we'll be working on you can use a square if you want. I like to use the circle, so I'll click this. Anything in this circle will show. So I'm gonna bring this circle over, and then over to the right, underneath the inspector side, you're gonna see where it says width and height. I'm actually gonna adjust these down, and if these two numbers match to the right, that means you got a perfect circle. So this is how you're gonna size it to be where you want it to be. You could also just double click on the side and just type in that same size that's above, so that way they're exact. And then I'll adjust this to make sure that I'm in the camera. Back on edit, right down here. Go back down and I'm going to enable this second video that I already disabled. That brings that video back in place. Select it. And then I'm gonna drag this where I want it. And we're gonna put it as close to the middle as possible. And then we're gonna grab this corner and we're going to enlarge my camera. Let's see how that looks. And then I'm gonna right click and enable the sound back. So when I start this, drop in um, my uh, art that I made with my name, and I'm gonna apply that up here. I have my name tag there. Place it just down here if we wanted to. You can enlarge it. In this inspector, you can do a right angle, left angle, whatever you want. And then if you want it the length of the video, you can just drag this to the length of your video. Hit spacebar, let it play and it will stay there. You gotta click down here on the rocket, and it's at the bottom right. Over here, you want to name it, and then location, you're gonna hit browse, save, and then all you have to do is select add to render. And what's nice is you can do multiple video edits, more than one if you wanna do five TikToks, and then have to worry about render when you go to bed or something. Project over here, and all I gotta do is hit render all. It's going through it, it plays the video in silence and it tells you the percentage at the top right. Go where I asked it to download it, which was in videos. And there's my test. If you have any questions, thoughts, or ideas, I just got the basics and I wish that someone would have showed me these basics because I went through a lot trying to learn this on my own. Please like, comment, please subscribe, it's free. Much love.